Hey, this is Jamal and today I show you how subsurface scattering works in RenderMan's Pixar Surface Shader in just two minutes. First, make sure your model is in real world scale. If not, your subsurface scattering won't work that good and won't look that realistic. Within the Pixar Surface Shader, there are different subsurface models. That means the way RenderMan calculates your subsurface scattering. Jensen and D on D pole are for translucent materials, for example, candies. The differences between those two are not that big, but I think you have to look which one you prefer. Burly is a very good way to go if you don't want to lose any details of your object and it renders quite fast. Multiple is a good way if you want to use more than just two colors, but it's not that realistic. Exponential and non-exponential are quite the same, but I personally prefer non-exponential because I think it's the most realistic model of those and the only problem is it's very noisy and it renders very long. But let's have a closer look at Jensen's Depot. With the gain slider you can handle the effect from 0% to 100% and main free path distance means how far the light can get through your material, so how much it glows. And in which color it glows, you can affect with mean free path color. Jensen's deep hole materials are translucent, that means you can look through the mesh and what's behind of that. Um, that's no problem because we can put this issue off in trace control settings, but nonetheless it is not the best way to render skin. For skin I personally prefer the non-exponential path trace model, so let's have a closer look at this. With the regionality set to zero, the inner parts of the mesh are more pronounced than with 100. With bleed you can increase the subsurface scattering effect without losing any details. And if you increase bleed diffuse, the edges of your mesh are getting harder and the material looks less soft. And that's everything I wanted to show you in this short tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.